It's been a very weird past few weeks here in London and at the Emirates. You sold the last episode in the way that it did, with myself being stalked by a few men after the last game, and apparently the same has been happening to my teammates, and not only that, but there have been multiple bomb threats sent to the club that these men said they were going to do at the next match. So the owners, my manager, they met with the local authorities, and what they said was to make things as secure as possible. They recommended playing this next match with no fans in attendance, just to make sure if these people were telling the truth that it weren't to happen. So this is gonna be weird. You've seen games played in the past with no fans due to the virus going on in the world right now. But today, in this game right here, is gonna be going on for a completely different reason, for the safety of all the players and the fans and this is going to be an experience unlike any other, so let's get into it. And one of the main reasons we're guessing this is happening is because of the circumstances surrounding this game. A North London derby. Spurs, Arsenal, let's get into it. A game unlike you've ever seen before in any of my my players. The Emirates is completely empty. No fans. Here we go, boys. How is this going to work? It's just gonna be silent literally throughout the whole game. So this is gonna be a bit weird. Bear with me, boys. We have no fan noise because obviously there are no fans in the stadium. Let's get into this. And as we do, obviously I have a bit of explaining to do with what is going on. Obviously guys, um, I don't wanna do any storylines surrounding what's going on in the world right now with the virus i can't actually say the name of it on stream because then youtube like messes up your whole video and doesn't monetize it and whatnot so we're not going to mention that but yeah i don't want to do any videos surrounding a storyline like that just because like yo it's not really right is it people are dying it's a serious um virus going on in this world so i'm trying not to talk about that guys i'm trying to just entertain you with the fifa action which is what we're doing here today but yes, we've created a storyline, and FIFA now allows you to play with an empty stadium. So that's what we've done here. And we've created a storyline to go along with it. How weird was that first half? No goals, and it's a bit mad how this game is being played out. But don't worry, boys. The silence will be broken, as our boy Kai Havertz puts it in. 1-0, Arsenal taking the lead in this North London Derby match and celebrating to absolutely no one can we get a shot of the stands yep um i don't know what they're looking at i don't know what that camera's looking at but there is absolutely no one there guy Havertz sliding it in assist from your boy rafael ruiz he bangs it in but yes back to what i was saying that is um i don't know i just wanted to incorporate this mod that allows no fans to be in the stadium and i thought this was the best storyline to do it that wouldn't be something surrounding Obviously, you know what. So let's continue the action, boys. 1-0 would soon turn into 2-0. This failed skill move. Well, let's not call it a failed skill move. I meant to do that, boys. I, I completely meant to do that because that pass was incredible. But yeah, you know what? No, I did not mean to do that. And what is this, man? I thought there were supposed to be no fans. What is that? There's like 10 fans just cheering. And what is that? Okay, maybe this mod isn't completely legit because there are 10 fans. I don't know why they're there, but they're there. Maybe they just got, I don't know. They snuck in. Oh, God. Okay, well, this mod isn't as legit as we thought. 92nd minute. One more chance. You know what? Let's just add another one on, boys. 3-0. Arsenal are going to take home this one against Tottenham Hotspur. The North London Derby belongs to Arsenal. And um, there it is, boys. A very important game with how things have been going in the Premier League this year. We're trying to fight our way back up into one of those top four spots on the table. And that is going to be a terrific, terrific win. And under those crazy circumstances, we were glad we could pull it off. But I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be glad when we get back to the normal games here soon with actual fans in the stadium. And hopefully those wacko, crazy, psycho people that said they were going to do what they're going to do. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And hopefully we've scared them off. 3-0 Arsenal winning this one very, very easily. And I'm not going to lie if I would tell you that I haven't been on edge because I have. Even though the police, everyone... They say I'm safe. I just don't feel safe. And I've been up almost every night just thinking. Those people know a lot about me. And if 
they really wanted to. I'm sure they could find me. And on my mind every night is just the question of what is lurking outside my doors. Okay, we should be back to normal now, at least with the fans attending the games. This next one is not going to be a home game, so we're going to be safe. We're going to be traveling on over to Italy. The final game in the group stages for the Champions League. And as you can see, we're topping the group right now. But Monaco and Juventus also both tied on eight points. So there is a very, very slim chance. But if we were to lose this game, Monaco were to win, the goals go certain ways. We could end up getting knocked out of the Champions League. All we need is a draw. If we get a draw right here, we top the group. If we lose, then, well, who knows? It is up to destiny at that point, and really, honestly, just up to goal differential. Let's just get the div dub right here, boys. Okay, the draw would work too. Here we go, into it, Juventus against Arsenal. A lot of people were wondering in, not the last episode, but two episodes ago, they were saying, yo, B4, how did you get Juventus in the game? They're Piemonte Calcio. I'm using the PC, you guys know, this career mode is run strictly off of the PC, and... We got Juventus by using the PC mods, the realism mod, courtesy of Fiverr FIFA. So yes, Juventus' kits, their, not their stadium, but their logo, everything else should be in the game. And it is. And you can see, there it is on the screen right there. Juventus is starting lineup. Let's get into this one, boys. The final game of the group stage of the Champions League. We're looking to bring Arsenal back to glory in the Champions League. And this is where the journey could either be well, it could either be a really great opportunity for us to come out atop the group, or we could just crumble in complete disaster right here. Somehow lose this game, and then, well, you guys would know what would happen. We would literally just have to hope the gold differential goes in our favor. Let's get that up. Kai Havertz taking the first shot was not a good one. This one, though, is going to be... But what a save from the keeper. Oh, my God. And then the rebound falls to your boy, Ruiz. That was not a great shot, was it? Still nil-nil, 38 minutes. Saka, there it is. Okay, that one will do. 1-0. Arsenal up in front. 1-0. Beautiful goal from your boy. And it's interesting, man. We got all these big-name players. We got Kai Havertz. We got Jaden Sancho. We got myself, Rafael Ruiz. But this is a player who's been stepping up this year, even with all these new signings. Saka has been, I don't know, kind of a hidden gem on this club, I guess you would say. And so far, one of the players that I rely on the most. Yes, of course, I'm passing to Havertz. Sancho, Pepe as well when he plays. But Saka is incredible. And at the, I believe, left mid, left wing position, I'm always looking for him out there. And he's always crossing the ball into myself. And we've just been picking up so many assists this episode. So why not grab another? This time it is Kai Havard slotting it in. I don't know what that defending was from Juventus, but that was really bad. Oh my god. Havertz just splits the defense with ease. It is an incredible counterattack. As you're gonna see, I literally just get the ball, play the through ball in, and Havertz is already behind the defense, literally within the snap of a finger. Goalkeeper stands no chance. And I think we're good. I think we're chilling. I think we're about to top the group right here, boys. What a goal! Smashing it past the goalkeeper. Havertz, you bloody legend. A few chances for Juve to get back into this thing. Shot right here, Anthony Martial. He would miss, and that would do it for the game. There it is. Arsenal are advancing on to the round of 16, stopping the group, where in the next episode we'll find out which team is going to await us. Timo Warner, nothing he could do. Nothing really Martial could do. Terrible performance from Juve. Exactly what we wanted to see. Arsenal advancing. Let's freaking go. Oh, we're chilling. The next morning, out for a nice walk around town, taking my dog out for a stroll. When I walked past the newspaper magazine stand, and you'll never guess what I saw on the cover. My freaking son. 
You guys know in the last episode, we sent him off to Spain where he has been living, training with the Real Madrid Youth Academy. And so far, he's been killing it. It's awesome to see. I miss my son so much, but my dog has literally been someone who has been entertaining me so much, man. It is crazy. You miss someone so much, and I'm glad I have my dog here, or else I would just be such a lonely person at this time right now. My dog having a, a little bit of a hard time keeping up with me. So many of you were asking me in the last episode, yo, where has your dog been in the storylines? You're right, man. I haven't shown him in ages, but he's still here. He's still chilling with us, and he's the only company I have at this point in time. We're back training with Arsenal, working on those PKs. And about to get into another matchup against two London teams. We won the North London Derby at the beginning of the episode. We beat Juve, and now we're taking on Chelsea. What an episode this is, boys. Some crazy matchups. We are now into the month of December. And so far, man, it feels like the season has just flown by. I don't know. For you guys, has it? For me, it has, especially with me just, I don't know, sitting in my room making YouTube videos all day because I have nothing else to do. It feels like I've just banging, been banging these videos out for you guys. Unfortunately, I'm still going to stick to the two my player videos a week. I've seen so many comments. You guys want more of this. I hear you, but two a week is the best I can do at this point. I'm telling you guys, you would not appreciate this series as much if I posted it every day. Some of you might. I know some of you might, but... For the majority of people, the reason this series has been so successful this year and done as well as it has is because it's less frequent. It just makes you guys like it even more. I, I, don't, I feel like that probably won't make sense to a lot of you guys, but the less frequency of the series just makes it even better when you're not getting it every day. If it was there every day, you would just be like, all right, another my player. What's it going to be this time? This time, you actually have to wait. You got to build up the excitement every Tuesday and Friday. I'm dropping one of these bangers for you guys, so hopefully that makes sense. I would like to bring more. Maybe I'll start another my player in the future and we can run two at one time. But for now, we're just going to be doing the Rafael Ruiz twice a week. Every Tuesday and Friday, you guys know the drill. Okay, into this game. Wow, it's already the 63rd minutes. And it's going to be a goal right there. Chelsea getting out in front. 1-0. Oh, God, that was actually a beautiful header. All credit, Milik. What a freaking goal, man. From an incredible cross. And once again, should this have been saved? The transfer window in January is approaching. And one thing I've been talking about is how Arsenal is just in need of a keeper so bad. Like, wow, our keeper, I don't know, man. You at least got to try to save. I don't even know what that was. But don't worry, boys. We would be back with a vengeance, maybe. This is what we need. A keeper like that. Maybe I should tell my manager to go out and sign Keppa because that was incredible. This cross cleared away, but it falls back to your boy. And check this out, boys. Bros, I wanted to hit this first time, but for whatever reason, it made me take an extra touch right there, and it actually ended up paying off. What an incredible goal. Would you say this is one of the best of my career, the way it bangs off the post right here? Honestly, I think that was, I would, I would put it in top 10. I really need to do a goal compilation for Rafael Ruiz very soon. Would you guys be interested in seeing that? Maybe we do it at the end of his career and we just compile the best goals. I'm actually considering it, but all of that glory would come to a close very, very quickly as Chelsea Grab that goal back almost instantaneously, and it's 2-1 in a blink of an eye. Great cross, and poor defending leads to this. Keeper, we blame him a lot in the past for some of his mistakes, but this one really wasn't his fault. Never going to save that in a million years. Great placement on that header, and that'd be it. Chelsea get the dub. Great episode up until this game right here. But yeah, boys, I am 100% considering doing a goal compilation. It would take a while to go through every single game and get all those goals but it'd be freaking worth it boys i think we did it for alexander barkley in fifa 16 we did like the top 20 goals of his career i might do that let me know how you feel about that in the comments and after this match one of my teammates invited me out for a night on the town it's good to get away from football especially when i've been just extremely bored with no one else at the house with my son being gone it's good to get away hang out with some friends 
and one of my teammates introduced me to someone very very special and boys you're gonna find out who this is right here in the next episode do you have any guesses on who this could be your boy ruiz let's just say he hasn't had a girlfriend in quite some time and that might be changing very very soon thank you boys for watching yo i appreciate you guys let's go for 5k likes in this video can we hit that i feel like we never hit a lot of likes we get like 100k views per episode and we never bang 5k likes come on boys 5k can we do it thank you guys so much if not it's all good i appreciate you guys watching and thank you guys so much we'll see you guys for the next episode friday